people in the Lynn Haven area of Virginia Beach are concerned about a waterfront homeless community. The good news here is that most of the people have cleared out. The bad news, all the trash they left behind and the lingering concern they could return. Andy Grisai's Andy Fox is here with what's being done in hopes of preventing that from happening. Andy? Yeah, Tom, when we got out to the Brooks Green Commons neighborhood on Potter's Road, we could see the problem real quick. Lots of trash and scattered belongings from the old homeless site and new boats on the water marking the beginning of a floating homeless flotilla. Hello? No one would answer, but we believe someone was inside sitting near the middle of London Bridge Creek. This is the Phoebus and the transport vessel to shore is alongside on the right with another craft to port. This nearby neighbor doesn't want us to use his name. That's one of the bridge where the boats are that's been there. Neighbors have complained to the Marine Association. No one's done nothing about it. They've even had drones over there taking pictures of them, which no one has done anything about that either. And let's not forget about the homeless barge with an American flag and the sunken jet ski out there too. I don't think they should be allowed to stay underneath the waterway like that. At, at nighttime, no lights on or anything like that. No visibility to anybody. Not that it's used much, but you know that's a waterway, that's a river. One of the boats looks very familiar from our report on March 20th when we met Chris just up the creek. It's a place where I can just go be at peace. I like to read, so I do a lot of reading. You know, come out here. I make you know a cook every once in a while today it appears the camp is not what it was you could just hear them yelling and screaming at, at each other you, you could actually hear them from my home you know that was about it we got rid of them within a week that was good left behind a lot of trash belongings from where the homeless camp once stood also left behind this pickup truck abandoned my neighbor has called the police on, on it about three four times no one's done nothing about it so we also called police. They green tagged it on October 4th and promised us it will be towed soon. Now we're keeping our eye out on this one. I'm told this is the way homeless flotillas begin one boat at a time and efforts are underway to remove the Phoebus in the very near future. We'll keep you posted on that. I'm Andy Fox 10 on your side.